Jordan had 20 points, got to the free throw line a bunch, and so he's going to have to do the same tonight. Owls control the tip. We're underway. It's the Owls and the Panthers, and FAU turns it over quickly on their first possession. Here's Jones, FIU freshman from Alabama. He's had a stellar first season here in Miami after transferring in from Garden City Community. One of the best shot creators off the dribble. I love it. The senior to the rim, too strong, and Greenlee has the rebound on a tough drive. Owls in transition. Here's a three, too strong, and Lovett brings in the rebound. For the Owls, the offense is going to run through Elijah Martin and Michael Forrest, a pair of guards that shoot it well from the outside. FIU a game above 500, 15 and 14. The Owls at 16 and 13, 9 and 7 in league play. The Panthers have struggled since Conference USA action began, 5 and 11. Jones' step back three is off. Good rebound from Banks. Got poked out of play. It'll stay with FIU. Yeah, Dusty May was talking about the win on Saturday against Charlotte. Said, I, I, I was real proud of how I, I don't think we played our best game. I don't think we shot as well as we're capable of. We found a way to grind out a win on the road, which hasn't been a, a great place for us this year. He thought that was a mature effort from his team. It was, and rebounding was really key for the Owls in that game. When you're not making shots, you got to find a way to get those second chance opportunities, and FAU did that. They got grabbed 13 offensive boards, turned them into 19 second chance points. That's something that they didn't do very well during their four game losing streak prior to that win right. over Charlotte. Well, in 22 of the 29 games for FAU this year, they've out rebounded their opponent. Only plus five on the glass in rebounding margin this season. Here's Brown taking on Winchester. It was right over him and it rimmed off. Good post defense from Winchester, the grad student who has NCAA tournament experience at Wright State a couple seasons ago where they played uh, Patrick Salmon of the University of Tennessee. Yeah, I remember that game. Winchester off the mark here, got his own board. Yeah, that's a travel stepping into the shot from Brian Greenlee. He's really struggled with his outside shot over the last two games. He's one for 20, or two for 20 over the last two games. Yeah, it's been really tough for Greenlee, a guy that's a sophomore, transferred in from Minnesota, a really good player for FAU, but he has just had a hard time putting the ball in the bucket the last couple games. He'll snap out of it at some point. He had actually seen the Panthers before arriving in Boca Raton. FIU played at Minnesota a few seasons ago. Love it. Can't get that one to fall. Still scoreless here, a couple minutes into the first half. Quickly switched on to Greenlee momentarily. Golden had it underneath. Good ball movement here. Greenlee for three. And he can't snap out of his funk there. Tipped out. And it'll go over to FIU. Really good ball movement from the Owls. Passing up good shots to get a great shot. Got a good open look for Greenlee and just couldn't get it to go. Owls have struggled on the road this season, three and eight. And FIU 11 and four in this building this season. Pinkney, go, got underneath, missed the jam. Brown gets a second chance. Both offenses out of sorts in the first three minutes. Golden sends it away. I like that set that FAU, FIU ran to get Pinckney the dunk, but he's got to put it in. He's got to finish. We won't miss many of those. The seventh footer shooting over 60% this season. Jones can't end the scoring skid for both sides. Still zeros in the scoring column for both teams here. Might have to check on these rims in a minute. There might, might be a <laughs> lid on the bucket to start the game today. They're looking fine in warm-ups. Tough start right now. Here's Golden. Taking on Pinckney. And at last, a bucket here in Miami. 2-0 FAU. That was defended well by Pinckney. He had the hand right on the shot, and Golden somehow got it up over top of a seven-footer over the other seven-footer. Brown driver. He's had a terrific campaign in his one and only season with FIU after transferring in from Vanderbilt. Seven to shoot. Here's Jones. The Panthers 0 of 7 from the field. Jones forces one, no. And the shooting struggles continue. 
Teams have combined one to 12 to start this game. Winchester battling, back out. Here's a three, Martin from the outside. Five nothing hours. There we go, that'll, that'll get the scoring go, going. Martin from the outside, he's a 40% three point shooter. Expect to see more of that from him tonight. Martin F FAU's second leading scorer. Love it trying to assert himself. Another tough drive across the lane. Owls making things difficult for driving right now for FIU. FIU has continued to try to attack the paint. The Owls have done a nice job in their help, help defense and getting a crowd around the Panther drivers. Early signs not great for the Panthers without Tevin Brewer. Force three, no good. We saw a bit of that in the Old Dominion game because Brewer only played eight minutes. He shot two or three from the field, had that ankle issue, and was out. Panthers, a couple subs for FIU. Smart is in, as well as Javante Hawkins for FAU. Now Janelle Davis has entered for the Owls, as well as Giancarlo Rosado. Rudy also in for the Owls. Jump pass, Forrest looking to get it back, seven to shoot. And off for a pump fake and then jump shot from the block. And Love it winds up with it. Panthers desperate to get on the scoreboard here. Banks stepped on the sideline. There's nothing going right here for the Panthers here in the first five and a half minutes. The FIU's offense looks really stagnant without Tevin Brewer running the point. The Panthers have been trying to attack the rim. The Owls haven't let them get there. So FIU needs to look to kick outside after a drive, move the ball around the perimeter, try to find an open shooter. What is FIU missing that Brewer offers here in the first five and a half minutes? It's that passing ability. He, he has the ability, first of all, to create his own shot in the paint or to find a teammate with some sort of crazy pass when he's in the paint. And FIU just hasn't had that so far tonight. Panthers being aided by a, a sloppy first so half from the Owls offensively. Not been able to take advantage of it. Cleveland Brown will get a breather. Mohamed Sinogo, a freshman. Putnam Science and Massachusetts enters. Pitar Kravakovic is also in as well for FIU. We're in the Black unis for just the second time this season, 1-0. And, oh. and these fits. They viewed him at Marshall a few weeks ago. Here's Hawkins. Kravakovic trying to get himself going. He hasn't hit a three in his last three appearances. Love it, and the drought continues. That's one of the better looks that FIU's gotten in the paint. Lob, Kravakovic there to deflect. FIU is 0 for 10. Here's Kravaka pitch, can't end it. Sonogo skies, but had it ripped by Davis. Yeah, that's the other thing the Panthers can try to do is, is grab some offensive boards. Only have one so far tonight, and Sonogo got it ripped out right away. Seven minutes into the first half. What a start defensively for the Owls. They swing it to the corner. It's a Davis three. He connects. Eight nothing Owls. This is an FAU team that could be dangerous from outside. They shot 76% against Charlotte a couple months ago. They can heat up from out there. Hawkins, no. Took a second bounce. FIU is clamoring for a basket interference to no avail. Drive and finish. Elijah Martin, the freshman from Mississippi. It's 10-0 FAU, a terrific start for Dusty May squad. A nice drive by Martin, had just enough speed to get by Sonogo and create enough room to get that shot. Love it will try his turn, and at last, nearly eight minutes into the first half, FIU gets their first points. The senior on senior night finally putting it in for the Panthers and getting them on the board. So now 176 career three-pointers for Lovett. He's one behind second place in FIU history. Dedrick Taylor's mark. And to the rim, Giancarlo Rosado, the West Palm Beach native. 
makes it 12-3. A nice quick move from Rosado, kind of bringing his right arm over Sonogo's shoulder. A quick first step to blow by the big man for the bucket. Evan in the corner again, Owls helped well. Smart calling for it. Down the lane, drive and kick. Maybe FIU's best possession. I love it, can't finish with the three. It's starting to resemble the Panthers' performance in Middle Tennessee where they started one of 17 from the field. FIU one of 14 right now. Sonogo broke up the line. And that previous possession did look a lot better. It was a nice pass from Smart kicking it outside. They need more of that. Hawkins goes for the lob and Sonogo's there to finish. Makes the score 12 to five. And uh, Patrick, it's not as if FIU is playing poor defensively. The Owls are not on pace for 24, 25 points here in the first half. They're just a nightmare on the offensive side for FIU. And just a really terrible start offensively for the Panthers. And yeah, you said that they played well defensively. Just got to get the offense going. Rosado taking on the freshman, too strong. Devakovic there on the weak side. Hawkins, corner three. And just like that, FIU right back into proceedings, 12 to eight. Transition helps when you can turn defense into offense and not let the Owls get their half court defense set. You can find an open shot. You get the sense that the play of Hawkins this evening will be a critical factor without Brewer. FIU's only other true point guard. Jones will play that role and more of a score is his offensive personality. Greenlee, drive and kick. Davis thought about it. Now driving. And we bump Owls nine and seven overall right now. They'll in all likelihood need to sweep this week and get some help as well at the top of uh, the East Division. So Western, yeah, Western Kentucky has that number two spot right now. And they're gonna play on Saturday. So the oh, I believe they play Marshall on Saturday, so that game will factor in. But FAU's, first of all, they got to win tonight. That's sure. the main thing right now is the Owls have to win tonight to still have a chance to get that two seed. Western will be favored in that game. Marshall has played better in the latter stages of the conference season. They are the seventh seed in the East. FIU knows they'll be playing Marshall next Tuesday to start off the conference tournament. Where the task is... Not easy, five games must be won in five days to win the conference tournament from that stage. Here's Greenlee accelerating, and he's fouled by Wilcox. Nice drive from Greenlee will go to the free throw line. The personal foul, and FIU's already two. beaten Marshall twice, and that's been the one team that the Panthers have Donald been able to beat Wilcox. when they haven't shot well from outside. They've been able to go inside, get some points in the paint against the herd, and the some of the other conference line. wins for Greenlee. the Panthers have come when they've shot really well from the three, from beyond the three-point line. It's been odd to see the, the kind of year you mentioned Marshall and, and the struggles they've had as Greenlee hits the first free throw. Uh, they lost Jared West, who's one of the best defensive players in Conference USA, and, and Jansen Williams. Those are two notable departures, but still with Tavion Kinsey, Andy Taylor, and some uh, good pieces underneath, Obina Anachili Killen, and Dan D'Antoni's some, had some tough times trying to get that group to gel, but they've had some impressive wins this year, too. They beat UAB <laughs> at yeah. one point this year. <laughs> they're, they're capable of playing with the big boys. It's, it is surprising to see the, the kind of season they've had. Jones is fouled on the drive to the rim. He'll have a pair of free throws. FAU hasn't hit a shot from the field in nearly three minutes. FIU has continued to try to attack the rim off the dribble and now they're adding in cutters. You saw Dante Wilcox cutting to the basket there with Jones to give him an outlet. That worked well earlier for the Panthers with Hawkins and Sonogo when they got the dunk. Jones one of the best free throw shooters in league play, third. That's USA action this year, 88%. And knocks down a pair at the line. FIU has settled down offensively. Dug in their heels on the defensive side. FAU still the five point advantage here on senior night in Miami. And Michael Forrest hasn't scored yet for the Owls. He's their leading scorer. Greenlee still struggling from distance. The offensive rebound from the Owls. Forrest drop off pass and Golden slams it in. 
Nice pass from Forrest. Golden's given the Owls a little bit of juice offensively when they've needed it. Smart looking to answer, lost it, and it's out on FIU. With 8.09 left to play here in the first half, a pair of FIU seniors will re-enter. Banks in Brown return. Golden, he just reaches his arm up and he's at the rim. He's so tall, <laughs> it's seven foot one. Wilcox had to help off of him to stop the drive, and nice play by Forrest to dump it off. And Meyer Kravakovic trying to get an arm up. Not gonna stop Golden in that situation. Forrest three, short, and Golden just reaches right up over Jones. Can't put it in the reverse, can't slam it in that time, and Wilcox winds up with it. A frustrating possession for Golden, got a couple of tough rebounds and then just couldn't get it in. Been active though here early. Andrew Jones, 0 of 4 from the field thus far. Soul crushing drives between <laughs> <laughs> that stretch of pavement. Oh man. Oh no, it's worse than that or that or the turnpike. Only something only South Florida people know. Yeah. <laughs> turnpike, I-95, which is worse, I don't know. 17-12, here our score. Golden at the block, taking on Brown. And that one just off. He took on Pickney a little bit earlier. That time misses front rim. And Brown defended it well. He was right there, had the hand right up in his face. And that time Golden couldn't get it up over. Brown for three from the left wing. A 23% shooter from distance this season. But all of a sudden, it's back to a one possession game. Credit FIU for hanging around and the defense kept him in this game when the offense started very poorly. Quick trigger three from the lefty Witherspoon. And out of play. Off of the Owls. All right, so this started with FAU up 10 to nothing. The Panthers were 0 of 10 from the field. Cleavon Brown doesn't shoot that many threes. Went one for two last game though and drains another one, a big one to bring the Panthers within two. Panthers have outscored FAU 15 to seven since that early surge. I think they flipped it around real quick, got it back to one possession game. Defense has been important, sure. in, especially in keeping Forrest scoreless, FAU's leading scorer, and allowing the offense to kind of find a rhythm. Javante Hawkins has done a nice job in handling the ball with Tevin Brewer out and trying to create some offense. An easy task to get the offense going without your leading scorer. Jones couldn't tie the game there. Again, FIU's Best playmaker, Tevin Brewer, out tonight. May see him Saturday, but not this evening for the Redshirt Junior. Rosado looking to create. Four still scoreless, whips it inside. Rosado turns, and he's sent away by Brown. And it's out of play, and off of the Owls. Cleveland Brown showing that post defense which has been stout for FIU all season. A nice play by Brown. Rosado tried to get physical with him, bumped him with the shoulder a couple times, and Brewer held his ground, or excuse me, Brown held his ground, ground and was able to make the block. Forty-nine blocks now this season for Cleavon Brown. Third in Conference USA. Calling for it here. Brown across the lane, and it will fall. Brown getting it done on both sides of the floor right now, and it's a tie game here in Miami. The game is tied. Wow. FIU shooting just 25% from the floor, and they've been able to hang in there and get this game tied. Re really tough fight from the Panthers tonight without their leading score. Owls haven't scored in three minutes, and that is now the 11th first half turnover on FAU, they average just under 13 a game. But Hawkins gives it right back. A lot of these are unforced, just bad passes, miscommunication. It's not as if FIU has been in their grill all evening long. Well, the Owls certainly have not been at the top of their game offensively, and it's been this way for, for a few games for Florida Atlantic. Winchester over Lovitz. Cannot get the roll, Jones has the board. 
Hawkins, a little floater, no. And then another giveaway. Well, that rebound kind of took an odd bounce that the Owls weren't expecting, and credit Hawkins. <laughs> oh, Brown nearly threw that one down. My goodness. We'll go to free throw line. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but Hawkins, a nice job of uh, staying aware of where that ball was. This is just going <laughs> to. And then there's the, the lob was good, but the Owls did just enough to, to harm Brown and prevent that poster from getting put up. He's had a couple of them this year. Off on the first free throw, though. Sonogo will come in for Hawkins. Sonogo for FIU. And win at Charlotte for the Owls. Snaps. It was a four-game losing streak. Oh. It was funny talking to Dusty May before the game. I said, did anything change? Or you notice anything execution-wise in that four-game stretch that maybe you had been doing well? He said, well... I think we were playing really good teams. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look, North Texas might be an at-large bidder. They don't win the conference tournament. Middle Tennessee is about to win the East. I say, <laughs> that's a fair point, Dusty. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> They've certainly been playing so, some really tough defensive teams, probably the top two defensive teams in the conference. And certainly North Texas and MTSU. The Panthers certainly know what is still scoreless here in the first half. An intriguing stat line, 0 for 2 from the field is It'll stay with FAU. There's two three-pointers. He has three rebounds as well, an assist and a turnover. And force it up here, the shot clock winding down. Tough shot. Sonogo the rebound. And the Panthers have Banks guarding Forrest. Banks has done a tremendous job uh, on some of the better scores in Conference USA, especially here at home. He's made some key defensive plays in some of FIU's wins. Checking back in with Pat Golden. Golden returns for the Owls as well as Davis. Returns for FAU. FAU hasn't scored in nearly five minutes now. Panthers on an 8-0 run. Jones. Three popped out. But Sonogo was fouled as he was in midair. That'll be the fourth team foul on FAU. The freshman battling inside for another opportunity. Sonogo was in position to get the rebound, and then Martin just Rebound. undercut him. That'll be a Martin. His first. Brown got good position, but Golden was there to recover. And Banks, deep into the lane. Love it, trying to save it. Davis was there to intercept. A disjointed game thus far, the, the FAU run, and the Panthers have responded. Owls back That's out in front now after the Martin bucket. Which ends the FIU 8-0 run. Browns hit one from that spot, and he has another. Cleveland Brown from distance. A pair of first half triples, two point FIU lead. Sure, why not? <laughs> Cleveland Brown on senior night, not known for his three point shooting, but when the offense is as stagnant as it's been for the Panthers, let him shoot, and he's hitting them. Those are the kind of sequences FIU might need tonight. A Brown to hit his outside shot. A lift from Hawkins from distance. A whistle away from the basketball. FIU a foul on Sonogo. Nice job by Denver Jones of driving the lane drawing the defender and flipping it out to Brown. And the Owls aren't ex expecting him to be spotting up for a three-point shot and gets it open to look. It's the first game since December 15th at Jacksonville State that Brown has hit two three-pointers. He's in nice rhythm. Golden swings it, here's three. Baruti, no. Banks snatches it. The Owls can get another chance. FAU is struggling from outside. They're just two of 10 from three-point land. They're normally a, a good three-point shooting team. Brown travels. Eighth FIU turnover. Has not been the prettiest first half for either side, to be quite, be quite frank about it. So, or shooting the basketball. It's been close. It's 
It's a good game. <laughs> it's not the prettiest game. It's been a close game, <laughs> for sure. A lot of turnovers, a lot of missed shots. Oh, my oh. goodness. And Cleveon Brown's out here playing volleyball. He almost hit his head on the rim. Uh, he got high enough to. NYU can't keep possession, though, trying to get out in transition. Brown swatted that with violence. 90 seconds to play first half. Martin steps into it. Too strong. Good rebound from Brown and a foul. Good sequence from Brown with the block and then fighting for the rebound. Got up so high for that block. Watch how, watch how high he gets. Flying up way above it. Just <laughs> hammering it into the ground. A double IPA right there. Extra hops for Brown. Yeah. 21-19, here the first half winds down. Hawkins surrounded by white jerseys. Provokovic will take on Golden, and Golden wins that meeting at the rim. That could help defense by Golden. Provokovic got a step on the outside for the baseline drive. He thought he was going to have it, an easy layup, and Golden said, nah, uh-uh, I'm, I'm down here. Yeah, it didn't look like the help was coming right away, but when it did, Golden covered a lot of ground very quickly. So Provaka pitched to the bench. One minute, One minute left to play here in the first half. Marn waiting for Greenlee to come off the curl. Open look, and Greenlee knocks it down, and that's got to be nice. The huge block. Down here, Golden's played well defensively for the Owls. We'll see if these offenses can heat up in the second half. Your FAE might be thinking, look, turned it over 11 times and still have a lead right now. Perhaps that bodes well. Hawkins had the seven footer on him on the perimeter, goes into the court, and Owl mismatch underneath. Brown over Forrest, though he missed it. And then the Owls can hold for the final shot. And Brown's got to capitalize there. Would you have him on Forrest, who's 6'1". Brown's got seven inches of height on him. Got the look he wanted, but couldn't finish it. Davis, five seconds. Forrest goes to the rim. Golden underneath. It's going to be a jump ball. The arrow is with FIU. Good reach in there from Lovett. Make sure Golden couldn't get that shot up. A good defense from Lovett. It, a uh, mismatch there with Lovett matched up against the seven-footer, but he does a good job preventing him from getting the shot up. Hawkins, as time expired. One-point deficit for them. After 20 minutes of play, we're underway. Michael Forrest, scoreless for FAU. The Owls, 11, excuse me, 12 first-half turnovers, and yet still holding the advantage. Panthers get a stop on the first possession here of half number two. Both teams have more turnovers than made shots. So that gives you an idea of how the first half went offensively for both sides. But hey, there, there are some guys on this team, on both of these teams, that are capable of getting hot and going off at any time. Eric Lovett, certainly one of them. How many big second halves has he had over the course of this season of, of his career? He will need to be a playmaker here in half number two. Eight seconds to shoot. Winchester switched onto him. Well, it's circling around the paints. Forces the shot up. Nope. Here's Brown coming down with it. He's got a mismatch. Well, they're struggling to create. Al's just staying in front. Banks, athletic move. He can't finish, but the whistle came in late. Banks will get a pair of free throws on the foul. Good defensive possession there from Forrest. He was the mismatch on Brown, but kept him from getting a shot off. Did a nice job on Jones, and, but Banks finally able to make something happen for FIU and get to the line. Banks is scoreless today. He's only taken one shot. And off on the free throw here. As Jeremy Ballard looks on. Ballard and May both hired the same season four years ago. Have given each of their respective programs much more success than they have seen in recent memory for FAU. 
ninth conference win last Saturday. Best of their previous CUSA best of eight wins four years ago. And there's a foul here defensively on FIU. So a win Thursday, tonight or Saturday would clinch a fourth consecutive winning season for the Owls, which would be the first in program history. In 92, Tim Loomis coached into three straight winning seasons, but that was when the Owls were a member of Division II. So they can make some program history with one of two over FIU this week. Is Winchester good on the first free throw? And FAU had seven straight losing seasons before May took over, so that makes what he's doing even more impressive. Well, he's weren't able to find the winning formula under Michael Curry. And for FIU, a similar story with Anthony Evans here, who had come down from Norfolk State after, remember that big upset over Michigan State in the NCAA tournament? And Evans not able to replicate that success here in Miami, and he was out after five years. Jones misses on the three-pointer. Loving on force. Winchester in the paint. That's good for two. Winchester has four. That's his first field goal. It's a five-point lead for the Owls. Well, Winchester is a guy that contribute, especially in the paint for FAU, coming off of those cuts. He can be someone that ignites this Owls offense. Brown had it ripped away from him by Martin. Just showed him the basketball. And Martin took it away. Now steps into the three. Martin! Triple! The steal and then the three. And it's an eight-point Owls advantage. So Martin getting it done on both ends of the floor. It's really stepped up this season after the Owls lost a couple of their top players to transfers. Opened up some playing time for Martin. He's taking advantage. Jones gets the Panthers' second half scoring started with the baseline drive. Need him to pick up his pace of scoring. He has six points. That's his first field goal, though. He was 0 for 7 before that shot. Yeah, the Owls have done a nice job of preventing him from getting to the rim, and he's had to do all of his work at the free throw line tonight until that shot. Forrest can't get in the scoring column there. Jones has run into a bit of a freshman wall himself. He's love it, found himself in traffic. Jones spins. Step through. Jones, count it. And one, Denver Jones will go to the line. All right, right before I was about to, <laughs> to jo Jones cut me off about his uh, about his lack of scoring recently. Wait a second, I haven't hit the freshman wall yet. Watch this. <laughs> what a move here. The fake shot, the spin move, dancing around Winchester, and then the seven-footer Golden coming to help, and Jones still gets it down over top of Golden. And he's had some quality second halves to help the Panthers win games as well. Last week or a couple weeks ago against Rice, had that big game against Southern Miss where he was seven of seven from three point oh, land. Terrific. He's capable of leading the Panthers back. One of the best shooting performances in the country this season. I was gonna say, he was three of 10 from the field over the last two game road trip. And one of nine in the most recent game from, from distance, or, or excuse me, over the last two. Maybe he's starting to find his groove here in the second half. Tough drive, no good, and Pinckney finds the rebound. Now he backs it within three after the Owls surge to an eight-point lead. Hawkins didn't want to take the shot and his foot was on the line. Even though he was open, love it, no. And they wanted to run that set for Pinckney rolling to the rim, and the timing got thrown off because Hawkins kind of bobbled the ball, and that really messed up that possession for the Panthers. Pinkney the rejection. Well, FIU is giving Greenlee space, decided to drive it. And the Panthers made a couple turnovers like that, a little too quick trying to get out in transition and throwing it to the sideline. A couple of rushed plays have hurt them. And Greenlee had the room on the drive, but Pinkney a nice job helping over and swatting it away. Get it into Winchester, but Pinkney was there on the weak side to help. And all along, two is true. Rosado from nearly the perimeter. For Ryan Burnley and the FAU Owls here on the road. Two matchups in three days between these two programs. Here's Isaiah Banks. He got tied up. Jump ball, the arrow will keep it with FIU. 
There's three games in Conference USA tonight. North Texas and UTSA just tipped off. And then Rice and UTEP will get going here at 9 p.m. this evening. Conference tournament kicks off on Tuesday at the Star in Frisco, Texas. Jones for three. No. That might have been a long two if that had gone in, actually. The Owls winning the battle on the glass. That's been important for them. They're 0-7 they're this year when they get out-rebounded or when they tie their opponent in rebounds. Had a big rebounding game against Charlotte last weekend. Out-rebounded them by 19, and the Owls get it done on the glass again tonight. Really trying to make something happen. Nice move, and he'll go to the line for two. And you know what's interesting, Patrick, for, for how well FAU has rebounded this season? There has not been one game this year in which the Owls have had a player record a double-double. Yeah. <laughs> that's so, that's so that is strange. fascinating to me. And, I, and if I remember correctly, I think they've only had one 10-rebound game, and it was Vlad Golden. So it's really a, a, been a team effort for them. And Elijah Martin's their leading rebounder with like five and a half rebounds per game. He's a six foot two guard. Not a guy that you think of it is typically going to lead a team in rebounds. So it's really been a team effort of following up your shot, crashing the glass, and being able to work through box outs on the defensive side as well with your quickness. Yeah, no. Dominant, per se, individual scorer and rebounder. Great team effort this year has put FAU in a nice position as the conference tournament approaches. Cleveland Brown has had a couple double doubles for FIU this season. Tim Brewer had one game where he had 13 points and 10 assists against Southern Miss in a win. You know, you don't usually see a stat line like that over the course of the season. Here's a Quan Smart with it. Just over five minutes here in the second half. And there's down seven. Sonogo had it taken away. Owls on the run. Step through, reverse is blocked by Sonogo, but the put back is good by Davis. And there's that rebounding and, and the second chance effort again from the Owls with Davis following up the shot. Jones looks to answer, and oh, Sonogo came crashing in. Fouls on the floor, they'll stay with FIU. 13th foul on the Owls. But what an athletic play by Sonogo to get, to get that initial block. Watch Sonogo coming in. <laughs> it's just reaching the arm out with the long wingspan and rejecting that, but then Davis did get the follow for the Owls. And there's going to talk about this. Haven't scored nearly three minutes. Largest lead of the game, or nearly the largest lead for the Owls. Let's take a timeout. We'll take one as well. Back to college basketball on ESPN Plus. Here on Rivalry Week, the Owls the nine-point lead over FIU. Partner, any game you're looking forward to the rest of the way here this week over the course of uh, action on ESPN? Of course, Coach K's final game at Duke. Sure. Oh, Sonogo. Oh, that rejected. I think Winchester got a hand in there. That looks like a sure-fire alley-oop. Now, Owls will set up possession. Yeah, really looking forward to this Saturday night, Cameron Indoor, Coach K's final home game. That will be an unbelievable environment. And I want to see the, being a, a Tennessee alum, the ball still have a chance to win the SEC. I don't even know who they're playing on Saturday, actually. But, man, Sonogo. You know, take away your alumni card. Winchester coming in there. You know, after Tennessee beat Auburn, I, that was, you know, such a big win. There's a forest three at last on the scoreboard here in the second half after starting 0 for 4. That's right, you guys did take down Auburn. That's a big win for you. They try again with Sonogo, and it's, it's just not working out right now for the Panthers. Largest deficit of the game at 12. That's a little bit too high on, on the pass from Jones. Davis nearly airballed it. Maybe that was a little too early in the shot clock. Jones able to track it down. Dusty May imploring his team to get back. Jones, just difficult shots being taken here at the rim. Jones is now 2 for 11. Witherspoon. Oh, right over Hawkins. It's a 15 point game. Eight shots for his teammates. Brewer's absence is 
absolutely noticeable here tonight. Panthers 22% from the field right now, and just five assists as a team. Here's Kravakovic, and he ends his three-point droughts with a corner jumper. They needed that. That was big. Kravakovic, a guy that was 0 for 8 over the last three games from outside, hits a shot when the Panthers need it big time. And go inside to Golden. He spins on Brown and throws it down. Vlad Golden. What a move from Golden, that quick spin. Brown wasn't expecting that at all. He thought he might try to be physical and back him down. And then the finesse move creates room for the seven-footer. Golden has six points. And now the Owls bringing some full court pressure. Back off here a bit. That's quite the way to respond to the Kravanka pitch triple. Hawkins for three, no. Wilcox can't track it down. Good hands from Davis. And Wilcox has got to go up with two hands. He tried to rebound that with one arm. Poor pass into the corner. Bayou gives it away. Team three FAU run. There's that big three from Kravakovic, but the Owls have, have since answered with that big dunk by Golden to kill that momentum. Hawkins has three points tonight. Smart trying to go downhill. And Golden there for the rebound. Golden may have affected that shot coming in late, trying to squat it. Carter, we mentioned the, the double-double. Golden might have a chance. He's at six and seven. Here's another three from the wing, that's all. Six points, eight rebounds now for Golden, excuse me. You gotta be rooting for that if you're an Owl fan. <laughs> the Vodka pitch, no. Oh, but Smart, I think, thought Wilcox was gonna take it and ended up letting Witherspoon get to the basketball. And Davis carried it. That's a I think that's a perfect that's example. That ball is just out of sorts right now. Hitting shots and tracking down the rebound. And FAU is taking advantage of it. Up 14 on the road in hostile territory. Vlad Golden with the racket. Back underway at the Ocean Bank Convocation Center, 43-29 our score. A.J. Ricketts, Patrick Murray, glad to have you with us in Miami tonight. Jeremy Ballard going deep to his bench. That's Victor Hart, fresh off the bench and into the scoring column. He has not seen a lot of time in conference action. Jeremy Ballard perhaps looking for a spark. Ballard just finding, trying to find some way to get this offense going, and hey, that'll work. Hart coming in. Getting mismatched on the big man at the seven footer, Golden, and blowing right by him on the baseline for the bucket. Three on the other end, it's Forrest from the outside. Forrest had that huge game the last two times, the last time these two teams met, had 27 points on 7 11 outside. He's been quiet tonight, but starting to make some shots in the second half. Brown got good position, couldn't finish with Golden in the area. Yeah, Hart's only played 14 minutes. Or excuse me, eight minutes in a conference play this season, and much of it's been in the final uh, final moments of a game, and the outcome has been decided. So we'll see what he can do here today. A 15-point affair with under 10 minutes to play. Forrest tried to draw the foul on Kravakovic, got it to the rim, and Smart looking to push. Kravakovic all by himself. And that will not fall. He's got a 50% three-point shooter a week or two ago until that three-game drought. Good spacing on, on that fast break, and Kravakovic had a wide-open look. Those are the shots that are going to have to fall if FIU has any hope at a comeback. Panthers now 5 of 14 from distance. Greenlee, great drive and kick for us. Yes! 
Greenlee the assist, Forrest the triple, and it's up to an 18 point lead for the Owls. Now Forrest is getting going. And Brown with the throwdown in response. And that big deficit remains here for FIU. Panthers might have to start bringing that pressure defensively like they tried to do there with the trap. Quick three on the other end. It's Martin from distance. Shots are starting to fall. The boys from the borough. As bad as these offenses were in the first half, the Owls are, are starting to make up for it now. They're heating up. Rosado and Winchester will come in. Forrest and Golden to the bench. Dusty May with a word of encouragement and teaching for a seven-footer. Brown rolling off the pick and throwing it down for the Panthers. They need some more of that inside, but FAU has just been too hot. They're six of nine from three in the second half. Martin hit one after Forrest had one on the previous possession. No time for the Panthers to be trading buckets. They need to see a similar stretch as they had in the first half. That'll limit FAU without a point for a nearly five minute stretch. 14th foul on FAU on that drive from Smart. You see Jeremy Ballard trying to the teaching moment to Javante Hawkins here. Love it's been quiet in the second half too for FIU. Just three points today on one of eight shooting. It's been a tough go here on senior night. I get it inside. Now we'll just let one go. It connects. The Owls have done such a nice job of preventing the Panthers from getting to the rim on drives. That they're going to have to continue to create some three-point shots, even if it's just love it taking one like that when the play breaks down. That's, gonna, that's what they're going to need to get back in this game. Fouls on Smart. And Rosado did a nice job on Brown to deny the, the entry pass. And Lovett says, all right, I'll just, I'll just take the three if you're going to give it. <laughs> Love it now, two of nine from the field. Approaching eight minutes to play. Well, Greenlee got space and the teardrop off the window is good for two. Nice finish there from Greenlee. Greenlee's had a nice second half. Couple shots, couple nice passes. Smart, no good. Almost every drive to the rim has been challenged, contested influenced by this FAU defense. And the threes have been falling out of the offensive. Rebound and Baruti had a chance to make it a 21 point game. Did my math wrong after he <laughs> had, had and one. So 20 points the lead for FAU, 56-36. An injury for Martin who's hobbling off the court here. Hopefully is all right. Not sure where that happened. It was on the box out. Davis, He's important for the Owls, their second leading scorer, yeah. the best three-point shooter. He'll get attended to by the training staff. It has been all Owls here in the second half, outscoring FIU 34 to 15 in the second half. Greenlee, a tough two. Yeah, what a bucket from Greenlee. In physical, in the paint, working through some traffic. I like what he's been able to do today. He hasn't let his previous two game shooting struggles from the outside influence his overall play today. The three assists for Greenlee in the second half. He's really helped ignite this run for the Owls. Five seconds to shoot. Love it, might put another one up here. Side steps, that's short. Davis the rebound. Slipped off the fingers of Rosado. Jones will go upstairs and Pinckney throws it in for two. Good job by the big man running the floor, being ready for the lob, beating his man down the court. The 
Panthers need stops, and time is certainly a factor at this juncture as well. Davis got baseline. Banks extended that arm out, committed the foul. And Davis will go to the line for two shots. I mentioned the conference tournament a few moments ago. North Texas will have the one seed in the west, Middle Tennessee to east. There's the alley-oop, Pinckney running the floor. Beating everybody down the court and a nice pass as well. Looking forward to uh, watching Frisco next week. Yeah, can, can anybody beat North Texas? They're so tough defensively and shooting the three it makes them really difficult to beat. And who steps up? I mean, there, there are some dangerous teams and with, with some really good players. And Kenneth Lofton Jr., Louisiana Tech, and yeah. UAB. And, Walker and the way that they can score the basketball. Uh, the, that West Division it is so tough. And does anybody uh, uh, step up and, and stop North Texas? 22 and four this season. And they have been sensational. 15 and one in league play, and they're up by seven on the road at UTSA right now. Pinballed around in the back four, and Love it is slow to get up. Looks like he's all right. Keep it. North, North Texas just won an NCAA tournament game as well. Grant McCaslin, their head coach, may be in the conversation for some job opportunities over the course of this offseason. Pause the play, I think, to check on Love and make sure he's okay. He's going to collide with Greenlee. Love it got the worst of it. It may have been more when he hit the floor. That hurt him. I think FAU, it's certainly have a case for being able to make a run as well. Most likely we'll need four wins in four days to win the championship. We'll probably start their game, uh, their attorney tournament run on a Wednesday. As Banks connects from the outside for three. And the Owls still have a chance to get that double bye, be able to start on Thursday. They can win Saturday and then may need some help from Marshall to beat Western Kentucky, depending on how the tiebreakers fall at the end of the season. Stansberry was just awarded a contract extension today. Here's Forrest. Yes. Three points, Michael Forrest. What a second half for the junior. That's his fourth three of the second half. Four or five from outside. 12 points now in this second half. He really recovered after being quiet in the first half. Hart was slashing across the lane, well off target. the most impressive aspect of the second half, the shooting, the defense, something else. I, this has been a dominating second half period from, uh, from Dusty May's squad. I think it's been the shooting. There's 7, 11, seven of 11 from three-point land, 64%. Greenlee has done a nice job of, of setting guys up for those threes. And then de defensively stopping those drives. But FIU did a good job there of kicking it to the outside and getting the open three for Banks. But the Owls have really shut down anything in the paint for the Panthers tonight. They've continued to try to attack off the dribble and get to the rim, and the Owls have contested anything around the rim, and that has slowed down the Panthers' offense. If you're FIU, you, you hope Tevin Brewer is, is good to go by the conference tournament, even by Saturday, but I, I think you're seeing the second half of the Old Dominion game and, and here tonight what, what his absence really means. Yeah, the Panthers really need him. It, specifically his ability to create off the dribble, off of those drives, kicking out the teammates, and his vision in finding open shooters. Brewer got here in 2018. There's Lovett coming off a curl, and that missed badly. And he, has been, he has been a spark plug for the Panthers ever since he arrived excuse me, 2019 out of Coffeyville Community College. He's got another year here as well. Forrest was looking for his fifth second half triple off the mark. So for Banks, Lovett, and Brown, this is it. Their final campaign for the Panthers. So Lovett gets the reverse to go. And these guys have certainly contributed. They mentioned it in, in the pregame that Banks is the winningest FIU Panther of all time. He's contributed to some big wins for this program. 77 wins over the course of his five-year career for Isaiah Banks. Winningest FIU player. 
And yes, he has that fifth year, but remember, his final 3-12 here in Miami. And FIU gives it away off the inbounds pass. Davis chases it down. Another spoon will slow it down. Early in the game, FAU is not at their best. Had those 11 first half turnovers. The 12, but just three since. There's Niang with the turnaround. And a foul on FAU. Niang in the scoring call. That's probably where early in the game, FIU would have been able to take advantage, but just weren't able to get their offense going. And the Panthers played well enough defensively in the first half to, to stay in it. But FIU was having such a hard time on, on offense, didn't score for about the first eight minutes of the game. Yeah. And Tevin Brewer out tonight due to injury has really hurt the Panthers. Wow, and a foul. Panthers have had a couple of highlight plays this evening despite the score line. You had the Sunogo throw down. Brown had a volleyball block. Oh, a tough alley-oop here. Pinkney had an alley-oop on the fast break, and now Brown is at a couple that almost went down. Finally, he's able to put one in, and he, he just kind of gave a shrug of the shoulders, like, well, <laughs> yeah, I did it. He's thinking about a team, the score more than any individual highlight. And as Brown's collegiate career starts to wind down, we can reflect on five years well done. Jerry Stackhouse recently at Bandy. He climbed up the all-time blocks chart there. Niang looking for some more points. Yes, Michelle Niang. Product of Senegal. Only averages two points per game. And a pair of buckets here in the final moments. See that Owls bench fired up. And Niang has had a really couple of nice looking athletic plays. Looking sharp. Mm -hmm. well, scored bench. since February 8th before those two buckets. <laughs> Looks like a consistent rotation player. Eh? Alejandro Rolot has entered as well for the Owls. Hawkins connects from distance. Daniel Parrish is in for FIU. Yeah, we were talking about the conference tournament in North Texas and can anyone slow them down? FAU played the Mean, Ge mean Green pretty tough up in Boca, only lost to him by three. And that was a game where the Owls didn't shoot it well, but they played really well defensively. Well, it's funny, I asked, that was one other thing I asked Coach May before the game, I was like, what, what do you feel you did well against North Texas? Close game, played hard, or what were you most impressed with? And he thought about it for a moment and said, honestly, I can't remember, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> to, to me, that spoke, look, he's already moved on from that North Texas game. As love it, tough and contested three. He gets it to go. He, uh, Dusty, Dusty is trying to figure out how to get his team out of the that loss call. He certainly did with Charlotte last week, and it's going to be back-to-back -back wins here now on the road and move minute, FAU to 17 and 13. Yeah, that's how you have to do it when you're a coach, just tunnel vision. <laughs> Wipe it clear, and <laughs> you, you got another game to get ready for. you got a lot of work to do. Another spoon with under 50 seconds to play. Davis in this front rim. Fouls on the floor here. So now going Kravankovic will enter. Let's see if it's uh, the final exit at home for FIU seniors. Substitutions. What a three there from, from Love it from way outside. Falling on the ground. And it will be the final exit for FIU's three seniors. Love it. Isaiah Banks, Cleveland Brown would have loved to have had a different score line this evening. No doubt the leaders of this FIU program and have contributed quite a bit in their time here in Miami. They'll try to right the ship on Saturday and then next week in the first round of the conference tournament. Not the way those seniors wanted their home career to end, but We'll still have an opportunity to play a couple more games at least yeah, in a pay for yet for him. Banks got to this program. Jerry Ballard was not his head coach when he arrived here. It was Anthony Evans. Played one season for him before Jeremy Ballard arrived. We've talked with Coach Ballard a number of times after wins 
for his team this season. He just raves about Isaiah Banks, the trust he has in him, the standard, and being a role model for his son. And he often speaks highly of Lovin' and Brown in the same manner. It's a no-go. Can't get this lob. Yeah, that might do it. And Banks is a guy with a 4.0 GPA, working on his master's degree. Yeah, I don't know what a 4.0 GPA is like. I <laughs> <laughs> He's got that on a lot That's of people. Tough. Well, it's all FAU tonight in the second half. It was a one-point game at the, at the half, and then FAU surged ahead in the second.